What's up YouTube? I'm James Bodie, and this is Relative Motion, the channel all about showing you the coolest places on Earth and the best means for you to get there. We're going to be starting Season 2 in this episode, and it's definitely going to be a bit of a change. We're going to take a break from the air and be stuck on the ground, but we are going to continue in the theme of looking at small vehicles. We're going to take a look at pop-up tent campers, which are all under 2,000 pounds, and in this episode we're going to be looking at the tiniest travel trailer in the world. I mean this thing is ridiculously tiny, but you might be surprised how much you can do with this thing. This thing realistically is only for motorcycles, but could have some other uses, which I'll get into. So let's take a look at what the Mini Mite has to offer. This is the Mini Mite trailer, and believe it or not, people actually buy this thing. This trailer is really for motorcycles, especially at its weight. This thing only weighs about 250 pounds when it's empty. And believe it or not, two-wheeled motorcycles can pull a trailer. It does make the motorcycle a lot less agile, and drastically changes the ride characteristics of it. I'm not going to get into all that in this video. However, I will say, three-wheel type vehicles I think would already be a lot better at pulling a trailer, such as a Can-Am Spider, a Harley-Davidson trike, or even a motorcycle with a sidecar. These already ride more like a car than a motorcycle, which makes it a more ideal candidate for towing something, I think. And these three-wheeled vehicles are a little more in general designed for towing, and usually have higher towing limits, around 400 pounds. The other potential use for a dinky trailer like this is if you have a really tiny car, like a Smart 4.2, Fiat 500, or a Mini Cooper. If you're doing road trips, it's extremely hard to live out of a vehicle that small. So towing a tiny trailer like this might be an option. Some other limitations that might force your hand to get a small trailer like this is if you don't have a lot of storing space in your garage or wherever you live. There also is the fact some RV and camping sites are extremely small and you can rest assured knowing this thing will always fit. Because if this doesn't fit, nothing does. The last kind of oddball reason you might want a trailer this light is if you're actually trying to pull two trailers. So for example if you're out of your mind and have a vehicle like a Toyota Corolla that can tow about 1500 pounds and you also own a small sailboat with a trailer that weighs maybe 700. You could potentially put a hitch on this tent trailer and pull them both behind the car and only be around a thousand pounds in towing weight. However, you're going to really have to get used to driving with two trailers behind you and be aware there's only certain states that allow this. So uh, good luck. So now that we just did the most unrealistic option, let's try what I think is the most realistic option for using this thing. I like the example of the Can-Am Spider. So if you're using a vehicle like that to cross the country, this is a great living option I think. Especially if you're planning on taking a decent amount of cargo with you. Because this thing can hold another 250 pounds in weight, which is probably going to be well over the maximum towing capacity of whatever you're using this on. So realistically, if you are traveling across the country, you're going to need some gear. And with this setup we're talking about right here, you could easily stuff 150 pounds worth of gear in that trailer and still be within your limits. Which is a pretty good amount of stuff. And another, maybe less obvious reason to invest in a trailer like this, is if you just want to get your feet wet in travel trailers. Because this is the smallest trailer it's also the cheapest especially if you found a used one you could take this out a few times and see if this is really for you because i'll tell you one thing if you enjoy it you'll enjoy living out of anything bigger than this so let's uh quickly go over some of the features of this travel trailer and it's gonna be quick because uh there's not a lot of features to this thing so like i mentioned it has a bed so you know uh that's pretty exciting this bed's actually pretty decent size at 54 inches by 78 i think it can sleep two people pretty well so first off the way you open this trailer is there's a set of legs on the lid you flip those up and then flip Flip the lid over and that forms the platform for the tent and also the bed. So if you don't want to use the bed, you can pull this panel up to make either a desk or a standing area where you are able to change. The tent is made out of a urethane coated canvas, which should hold up pretty well to weather, but be aware that no tent with regular use usually lasts more than 10 to 15 years. The rest of the trailer is made from a one piece composite, which is one of the best materials you can make a trailer out of and is going to last forever. However, unfortunately, like I mentioned, the tent will not. When the trailer is collapsed into its travel state, it has really great options for storage. First, the rear door opens to give you access to a lot of internal cargo space. And then also on the roof of the trailer, there are several spots for tie downs. So you're also able to carry a lot of larger gear on top. So this thing really has great options for storage, especially compared to the Leisure Light, which is a trailer in the next episode. Because of this thing's simplicity, it has no climate controls though. So the weather is going to be the biggest limiting factor to using this trailer. However, there are some items you could potentially get to really increase the living capability of this trailer. The first and most obvious one is heat. So you could either use a small propane furnace 
if you are able to find one small enough, which is going to be difficult. Or you could go with a more common option like this, propane space heater. However, be aware these can be much more dangerous. And if you're going to use one of these, I wouldn't use one without a couple of CO2 detectors. And Kitty is definitely well known for making great stuff when it comes to that. They actually make fire suppression equipment for aircraft, just to give you an idea of their capabilities. But anyways, you have to have one of these CO2 detectors for using any sort of space heater that's not electric and you're not outdoors. If you are trying to travel the country with this trailer, there's some other essential things I think you're gonna need. The first one is just having a cassette toilet. And oddly enough, this trailer is kind of designed for one. If you flip up that desk like I was talking about, you can just store it on the floor under there and flip the desk up whenever you need to use it. And another item if you're gonna be spending a few days in this thing, I definitely would recommend is some sort of camp stove. Coleman, who actually makes some of the trailers in this list, are really well known for making great camping gear. And their stoves definitely have that reputation. The Coleman Triton gas camping stove is Coleman's modern interpretation of a camping stove and you really can't beat this thing. A little bit cheaper but great option that I'm a big fan of is the bottle top gas cooktop. It's gonna only be a single burner but is extremely compact considering the fuel bottle is even larger than the stove itself. And then last but probably my favorite option especially in this situation are these MSR liquid gas stoves. The reason I'm a big fan of these MSR stoves is the simple fact that you're already on a vehicle that has to refill at gas stations. And and the cool part about this stove is it can actually run on diesel fuel. So, especially if you're doing a long road trip, that makes it really easy to find fuel for your stove. To keep you grilling and chilling, you know what I'm saying? So if it's on your bucket list to travel the country on a motorcycle, and you really don't want to stay in hotels for whatever reason, this tiny little thing might just be for you. Well, I didn't think I could make that long of a video about such a small trailer, but here we are. If you made it this far in the video, you probably enjoyed some of it. Or maybe I just put you to sleep. So if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing below. Where I'm going to try really hard to make at least one video a week. And if you liked any of the products I was talking about in this video, consider checking out the description where there's links to all those items. And using those links is a great way to help support this channel. So thanks so much for checking this video out. In this next episode on this season, we're going to take a look at the Leisure Light, which is a trailer that is very similar to this one, but with some interesting twists. So if that sounds interesting, check back for that. And until next time, I'm James Bodie, and you've been watching Relative Motion.